In the last video we learned what is a module in Drupal and how we can easily work upon default modules. So in this video we will learn how we can install a new module, a module which is not available on the website. That means which is not the default module provided by Drupal core under the website. So for that go to extend. Here you can see we have reached the extend setting which means the module settings. Here are the list update and uninstall. It means list will list all the modules. Update will include the modules which need updation and uninstall means if you want to uninstall any installed module you can easily uninstall it. So here you can see we need to click on install new module for installing a new module. Here you can see the section is visible for installing a new module. Here you can see here you can install from a URL from the official URL or we can browse the module. But right now we are not having any module with us any, any zip file. For that we will go to the official website. Here you can see drupal.org is the official website of Drupal. Under project slash project underscore module we can find all the modules available. Here you can check that 36,415 modules match our search right now. But right now we want some other module. So we will select the maintainer status. We want a very good plugin so we will select actively maintained. For development status click on it. Here you can see we want a module with maintainer fixes only so we will select it after that you can check module categories you can select any category but right now I won't select it here you can see the core compatibility this is a Drupal core compatibility I want a plugin module for 8.x so I'll click on it after that you can see the status available full project all only the sandbox project or all projects so I won't select it right now I'll keep it at default which is full project here you can search the name of the module here you can sort by most installed. So I want to check that I want to go for a module which is most installed and people are quite happy about it. So after the changes I will click on search. Here you can see 133 modules match or search. You can go to you can check you can install any of the plugin module available here. Here you can see the security kit available module click on it. So now we will learn how to install a module security kit. This is a security plugin which is very good for Drupal. Here you can check all, ab all about it, its functioning like what are its features, the upcoming releases are also available. This is the project information. Here you can see it has been downloaded more than 100k times. Here you can check different settings. So here are the most important section download. Here you can see you just have to click on download and with that you can easily download it. Here we will be downloading the development release. Here you can check that I will select. 8.x 1.x the current version I will click on the zip file now you can see it is asking for downloading the module zip file click on ok on the left you can see it has been downloaded so now we will go to extend again and now we will select browse to upload the zip file here you can see the plugin is visible so I will click on it and then I will click on open now you can see it is visible here. Now we just have to click on install. Here you can see the plugin security kit is installing. Here you can see the installation has been completed successfully. Always remember after installing a plugin, we need to click on enable newly added modules because the plugin module has been installed but not enabled. So click on enable newly added modules. Here you can see now we have again reached the extend section which lists all the modules. So now we will just search the name of the module and let's see what happens. Here you can see I have written security here and our module is visible security kit but it is not enabled right now. So click on it. After clicking you just have to click on install. Here you can see the module security kit has been enabled. Here you can check. So now if you will search security kit again so from there you can configure the setting of the module so let us add it. So now you can see I have typed security and a section is available for security kit. It has been enabled because we enabled it before. Now you can just click on the text. Here you can see the section is visible where you can set the permissions as well as from here you can configure the setting of the security kit module. So in this video we learned how we can easily install a new module. We also learned how we can search the module from duper.org official website. Also we installed a plugin for demo which was known as security kit module. Thank you for watching.